What is going on guys, my name is Codex and today we've got something new to the channel uh, and that's gun comparison videos so I don't know about you guys but I'm sure sick of spending all of my points on crappy guns so that's what this series is for you guys let me know what two guns you want me to compare and I'll test them both out and I'll get back to you with the stats and what I think is best out of the two guns so yeah uh, today we'll be comparing the Honey Badger to the ARX-160, they're both assault rifles and they both start off with uh, their own different attachment, so they're pretty neat, something new to the series and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. The first thing that we're going to be comparing between the two is the base damage, uh, the Honey Badger has a base damage of 42 to 20, while the ARX-160 has a base damage between 43 and 17, so they're pretty much pretty close to the same the honey badger would be a lot higher i guess but because it has the inbuilt silencer it drops it a little bit so they're pretty similar guns taking about three to four bullets from close range to kill someone and about five to six from long range so yeah the next thing that we're going to be talking about is the magazine size this factor doesn't affect the comparison at all because they both have a magazine size of 30 anyway so they're the exact same Next we'll talk about how many squad points it takes to uh, purchase both of these guns. We all know how hard it is to get squad points, so this may affect it and it may not affect it. It just depends at the time, I guess, how many points you have. The Honey Badger takes 9 points to buy and the ARX-160 takes 10 points to buy. So it's only a 1 point difference, no, it's no big loss. You, I don't think you can buy anything for 1 point anyway, but it could help you in the long run I guess having that extra one point it might not it's just I guess up to your your choice next we'll be talking about the fire rate and this is where the guns sort of take their different ways the honey badger has a fire rate of 800 rounds per minute while the ARX 160 has a higher fire rate of 857 rounds per minute higher fire rate it could mean higher damage but it also means a larger kick pattern I guess and damage spread so that could be a factor too if you are more of a close-up person, the ARX probably would be the best, I guess. But if you like to be able to take people off at a long range as well, I would suggest the Honey Badger for this point. The next point that we'll be talking about is the reload time. Now, they're both pretty similar, not even 0.1% of a difference. So, yeah, the Honey Badger has a reload time of 3.16 seconds, while the ARX 160 has a reload time of 3.23 seconds. This, I guess, it doesn't really matter if you, like, reload and then cancel by either running or double tapping. That's what I do, so, I don't know, this factor doesn't really, doesn't really affect my opinion, I guess, in a way. They're both pretty close anyway. So, yeah, we'll go on to the next point. The next thing we'll be talking about is the damage spread. So, as you can see from the video on the screen now, the Honey Badger has a pretty small damage, damage spread. It's all around the one center circle, it's nothing to out there it's all pretty close but uh, this is not the same with the ARX this gun has a weird feature like the first three bullets uh, have a less recoil and then the rest are everywhere <laughs> the, this fire spread is really really bad compared to the honey badger I'm sure it's pretty good compared to other guns but compared to the honey badger it is a lot lot worse this is the same for the when you aim down sight it's still it's come back pretty close but it's still not the best so there we go guys that is the comparison video between the honey badger and the arx both pretty decent guns uh me personally i prefer the honey badger it just feels a lot smoother i've had a lot more playtime with it but it's that's because i feel like it is the better gun out of the two uh i like to run around with us with a silencer on all the time just so people don't know where I am and it's just a bonus that I don't have to spend another point unlocking a silencer because this gun already starts off with one so that gun gets my vote. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think out of the two guns. Which one do you prefer? Which one don't you like and why don't you like it? And uh, let me also know what gun you would like me to compare next. If you enjoyed the video please do leave a like. If you haven't subscribed already please do subscribe and I'll talk to you guys next time.